feel like it looks so cool toned now. Or like almost green. Hi y'all, so today I kind of wanted to bring you this like really easy glam um, just because I felt like it. I don't know, there was something that was like calling to me about a matte cool tone like simple glam eye and then I also got the Natasha Denona Love Glow Palette so I used this in, I used it in this Thing and I kind of have like a little review about it, but I did want to mention like this eye is super super simple I happen to use the soft and soft and sultry Palette from Milani because I just hadn't grabbed it in forever But you can also use like this smashbox cover shot The matte one um, I also have the elf new classics This could really easily be used for a look like this just depends on what you have I would have used this but I have a three looks one palette video coming out it's either already out or it's coming out like next so i didn't want to use this and that old i just feel like i hadn't used the milani eyeshadow palette on camera in a while so i really wanted to use it i don't know why i haven't used this smashbox one on camera either but for whatever reason it just wasn't calling to me but if y'all want to see me use this i mean these are like nothing new and there's like a billion different colors i have like literally the most boring one so whatever so i'm actually gonna put like a timestamp. i'm gonna do like a little mini review for the natasha denona palette i love this thing i love this thing it is wonderful i love the setup like the two cream colors and the two powders also it's like really weighted um obviously this packaging is like to die for and i understand that with some of the more expensive brands you're paying for the name you're paying for the packaging but i also think that the formula in this is like super super hard to beat it is like nothing else i've ever tried and if you've watched my channel for a while you know i'm pretty much a drugstore queen i just kind of wanted to treat myself kind of for valentine's day this launch in particular really really called to me and I kind of wait for high-end launches to like hit me. Like this is a perfect launch. It's so beautiful. The eyeshadow palette is gorgeous. There's three glosses as well with this um, launch. But I will say, just being honest, like I don't care enough about eyeshadow to buy a $65 eyeshadow palette. No matter how good it is, especially not a super pinky purple colorful one. And if I ever pay $26 for a lip gloss... It's because I won the lottery. So I just picked the one thing to treat myself. This was $55. I picked this to treat myself because skin, like a skin look is more important to me than anything. So I knew that I would definitely get my use out of it if I ended up liking it. I'm just obsessed with the packaging. It's so pretty. So that's why I only have like the glow cheek palette. But I'm sure other people on the internet have reviewed the glosses and the eyeshadows and stuff. I'm sure that's already been done. So yeah, I really truly do love this cheek palette. I used all of the, oh, except for the powder. I felt like I already had enough glow, but I do have a clip of me using all four of these on the cheeks. Also with like less of an eye look in the other clips that I've taken. I use the like liquid or like cream cheek products on my lips as well because I saw them doing that on the Natasha Denona makeup Instagram. So I wanted to try that as well for you guys and it's gorgeous. It's literally gorgeous. So those clips will be inserted as well. But long story short, I do love this palette. I do think it's worth the $55 if you want to treat yourself. Natasha Denona is one of the high-end brands that are cruelty-free, so I think that is also a really good thing to support, is being cruelty-free, even high-end brands being cruelty-free, so that's really good. Um, and yeah, I love this. And I know, I'm pretty sure that this is the limited edition Valentine's Day launch, but they have other shades of this type of, like, cheek palette that I've also heard really, really good things about. So... Yeah, if you don't get your hands on this like really pinky Valentine's Day one, there's other shades and other palettes that they have all the time, which is also really good. I want to double check and see if they have like a contour bronzer type palette with this formula because oh my 
God, I would die for that. It's so smooth. It doesn't accentuate any texture, any lines, any pores, or anything. And that is really hard to find in such a shiny product, in such a creamy product. That's really hard to find. And since my pregnancy, I've been struggling a ton with huge pores and nothing is accentuated. I mean, I look smooth. I look shiny. Obviously, this is a really blushy look. So if that's not for you, then that's not for you. I love it. I've been really into this lately. I've been really into like super skin focused looks with light eyes and light lips. Today, I did a little bit more because I wanted to keep it more like sultry glam. But yeah. Um, so I think that's that on that. This Video is a little bit of like a mishmash of stuff. I didn't want to make just a dedicated video to the Natasha Denona Cheek Glow Palette because it just seems like it's not enough to review for one video. But anyway, I, <laughs> here's a video of me using the Natasha Denona Cheek Glow Situation Palette and giving you this like super simple, sultry cute look. Okay, so first we are going to start with the first cream color, the cream blush in the Natasha Denona palette and just start stippling this, stippling this all over my cheek area. I do go in with both of the cream products. I just layer like the next shimmery kind of like shiny one on top of the other one to give some more shine and some more blushiness, but either just use way less if you want to mix them together or just pick one unless you want a super blushy look. This stuff a little bit goes a long way. You can see the difference a little bit right here from one side to the other, but I was definitely like going in with the blush because I wanted this to be a super blushy look. I didn't go in with the powder like I said earlier in this video, but you can see again in that clip how pigmented it is with the powder blush on top of the two cream blushes. Also, this highlight. Absolutely gorgeous, absolutely to die for. I do feel like you need a stiffer brush like the one that I'm using. A like light brush or a fluffy fan brush won't really work too well. Or you won't get a ton of like bam payoff kind of thing. So then just moving on to the eyes, I'm using this soft and sultry palette from Milani. I'm using these two colors just a little bit mixed together and using a fluffy brush just tossing this into the crease. And then I'm taking a slightly smaller, more dense kind of blending brush and this dark gray color. And I'm putting this very much so on the outer corner of my eye and then blending just on the lower lash line with whatever is left on my brush. I definitely want to keep this more traditionally like out on the outer corner, kind of in that little V just in the outer corner there to add a little bit more shape to the eye, but nothing too intense. And then I'm going to blend that out again with that fluffy brush with just nothing on it. And then I'm going to take this little detailer brush. You don't have to use a brush this small. That's just the only one I had clean. And the matte highlight shade from this palette. And I'm going to pack that all over the lid and use it as an inner corner and brow bone highlight. Because I did want to keep the eye all matte, but I did want it to have that like classic like highlighted look on the lid and the inner corner and the eyebrow just with a matte color. I just thought it was so pretty and it just looks so like blown out and soft and gives just the right amount of definition to the eye. And again, I just go back and kind of blend it out. It's not a cut crease or anything. It's just a really soft kind of gray tone neutral glam look. And then I go in with the Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara. I love this stuff. And at the beginning, I thought I was going to pair a gray lip with this look to kind of match the eyes. But I ended up going with the Ofra Pasadena Liquid Lipstick because it actually really matched the tone of the blush so beautifully. I just loved it. It almost looked like the same color, just a little bit deeper. And I wanted to keep the lips matte as well. I wanted the shininess and the blushiness of the face to be a focal point and then keep everything else on the face matte, like the eyes and lip I wanted to keep matte to not take away from that. So that is the final look. All right, you guys, that is all. I'm so sorry about the lighting. I'm still trying to figure it out because I'm using just daylight right now and it's a little bit difficult to figure out but hopefully you can kind of get the gist of how amazing these products are and I hope you liked it so if there's anything else that you want to see from me then just let me know down below if you have any questions let me know down below everything will be linked in the description bar along with my Instagram so give me a follow over there and yeah
um, I think that's all I have to say. So wherever you are, whatever you're doing, just have a good one. Bye.